Hey what's up guys, Midget HD here and I'm here with another really awesome model. This is an American Airlines A330-300 by Gemini Jets in a 1-200 to scale. Um, I'm just starting to get back into my videos so I'm sorry if I'm a bit, you know, off with my videos. But uh, I want to make this as, enjoy as enjoyable as possible. So uh, yeah. Also, make sure you check the description for any links or any info about this model or any part of this video so you don't have to go, go back into the video and review it. Um, also check out my social media uh, on Facebook and Twitter. Links are down in the description, Midget HD, uh, for both of them. So, yeah. Anyway, I pre-ordered this model from EasyToys.com as part of the January releases. These were held back for over a month because of the port workers in California were on strike and so it affected all I'm pretty sure yeah pretty sure all US retailers so that's why it was held back for such a long time uh, I should have got it last week but I had a deal with customs in New Zealand um, they're not the nicest people so anyway this is my second American Airlines model and my fourth A330 model um, American Airlines operation space is out of Fort Worth in Texas their main hub is, is Dallas Fort Worth, and other hubs include uh, JFK in New York, um, LAX, Miami, uh, Sh Chicago O'Hare, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, they were founded on 25 January 1930 as um, American Airways and commenced operations in 1934. Their fleet size consists consists of 627 mainline aircraft. Um, that is non-regional services and stuff like that. They have 968 total aircraft. That includes regional um, operated by other airlines. They have 9 A330-300s and they're all from the ongoing US Airways and American Airlines merger. Uh, and then that uh, uh, they received this aircraft in particular on 9 December 2013 from US Airways. Um, the destinations uh, for this aircraft, the A330-300, include Philadelphia, Charlotte, Orlando, San Juan, uh, or, sorry, San Juan, San Juan, um, Punta Cana, uh, Rome, London Heathrow, uh, Madrid, Frankfurt, Manchester and Munich. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys a look around the box here, and here we have the Gemini 200 logo, American Airlines, there is the model itself, have a look on the back here, just a uh, standard Gemini Jets box, all the uh, licenses, top of the box. Right side, bottom, and left side. Okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, camera back on the tripod again and let's have a look inside. So it's just a flap on the side here, just open and uh, ooh. Polystyrene, I see. So we have just a Gemini jet stand. I'll get back to that later. General Gemini jet stand. Uh, in the uh, stand, metal stand piece itself. I thought they would have moved on to foam by now, but I guess not. And, uh, well, there's the model. Alright guys, so I have the model out of the box here, and uh, as you can see, it is a very nice model. Um, it's one of those models that you have to be sure about. Uh, it's not the best looking A330 model. Um, yeah, still not quite sure um, what I think of it, but yeah, it, it kind of does look nice, I have to say. Um, so we'll start here, uh, 
at the cockpit and cockpit windows there's the uh, nose cone and on the gear 270 that is part of the reg registration and then you can see e-tops and okay. doesn't like the zoom for some reason But there is the One World logo there, and uh, American are part of the One World Alliance, which consists of 15 airlines from around the world. And um, during the merger with US Airways, US Airways have become part of One World uh, from Star Alliance while the merger is going on because they're technically technically now owned by uh, American. And then you can see the American titles. And here is the um, Pratt & Whitney engine. These are Pratt & Whitney PW4168A. And uh, we'll see if the engine spins or not. And yes it does. And this one. There we go. So that's good to see. And uh, you can also see there on the inboard side of the wing, there's the uh, landing light. By the way, the uh, customer code for this aircraft is 23. It just ha that happens to be Americans, American Airlines Boeing customer code. Um, that sh that just uh, occurs because of the type of engines. The type of engines. Um, gives you the code for for the uh, that aircraft so it just happens that it's 23 then uh, here we can see right there um, there's the red navigation light on the port side and go there's the uh, registration in 270 ay or uh, November 270 alpha Yankee and there's the American flag. They are a um, uh, an, a U.S. Um, flag carrier. And there's the American logo, which is basically the um, representation of the American flag. And bring it around here to the APU. And ooh, it's not focusing. Very nice APU exhaust there. Okay, now we have a look at the cockpit on the side. And we have part of registration on the gear 270 and E tops. Uh, we have the front cargo container door, the American titles, Pratt and Whitney engine, and there's the landing light. Come across the wing where the wing is and we have the green navigation light on this side coming towards the rear of the aircraft we have the rear cargo container door and then looks like we have and it's not focusing uh, might have a bog bin door there as well and there's the registration number and the tail okay one thing I uh, should mention, which you probably already know, um, uh, this new livery was applied on the 17th of January 2013. There's the uh, front, oh, there's the nose gear right there, it rolls, it doesn't turn in the direction um, like on the runway or anything, so yeah, there's the antenna there, beacon light, the hole for the stand, which I'll get to soon. There's uh, markings for the gear doors and there's the main gears. This one's a little crooked. But as you can see, they do tilt. Both of them, they tilt. So, there you go. And they roll very nicely. Come across the wing, you can see the uh, ailerons. There's the flaps and the leading edge slats. Same on the side. Hopefully soon, the gears will be retractable on the A330s but not on this model. Um, 
Gemini Jets logo antenna there down to the APU there's the uh, APU entrance down there and uh, the uh, bit where they can have a tail stroke if needed um, ante antenna there a couple more there we have a uh, beacon light there it's missing it's missing the SATCOM on this model we have a antenna there it's also missing some of the ADF antennas all the markings on the wing, the winglet you can see the ailerons, slats, flaps, boilers all that stuff and coming down to the rear and we have these two if you look there there's two silver lights, uh, two silver dots they are the logo lights and they just uh, light, light up the uh, tail at night time oh by the way the uh, beacon light on top that is the um, anti-cold or the anti-collision light so what I'm going to do now is uh, here's the stand just a regular Gemini Jets wooden stand uh, taking the blue film off the back but as you can see it's uh, supposed to be shiny I've got a few fingerprints there but yeah it's supposed to be shiny uh, the screws don't sit flush which kind of annoys me every time they really should oh, yeah, there's a bit of grease on this model by the way so Swatch out for that, just wipe it off. And well, there we go, I guess. Padding on the bottom of the stand to protect the uh, paint. It doesn't sit exactly on the stand, but I'd say that's good enough. As you can see there. And uh, what I do while it's on the stand, might as well, I'm not going to take it off the stand now, but uh. Just show you the seating arrangement. So um, there is uh, one seating arrangement for this aircraft, and um, so we start off with business class. That's 28 open suites uh, from rows one to seven. So guessing from about here to maybe there, sort of just before the door. Um, that's your uh, open suite business class seats and then there the rest of the aircraft uh, from about there right to the back there are 263 economy from rows 8 to 41 which gives you a total of 291 seats if you want to uh, I'll put it on the tripod and then I'll give you guys a look around the aircraft but uh, this is going to be the end of the video here guys uh, I really hope you enjoyed um, this is a yeah, it's a very interesting model um, you either get it or you don't because yeah it catches some people's eye it doesn't with others um, but I do hope you enjoyed please like the video if you did uh, comment tell me if you got this model, or getting this model, or um, what you think about it. Um, also, share this video so people can you know, see, see it and uh, decide if they want to get this model or not. Um, subscribe. I, my next video is a Southwest 737-700 in the new livery, um, and my previous video was a United 787-8, so make sure you go check that out. Um, I have four more models on the way, including that Southwest, plus a whole bunch um, that haven't arrived at the moment but they'll be here soon so yeah make sure you do subscribe um, and that's going to be about it so I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time